I got a hundred days left between now and the end of the year. What could I do? Hey, so welcome back to the show. Coming off just a few weeks ago at the Success Summit, I asked 12 extraordinary agents, could you just take the time to share one thing about your business? Tim Smith talking about billion dollar negotiations. Phil Gert is talking about video. 12 different agents from three different countries, right? High end, low end, everything under the sun. And they all shared the secret to their success. Now, of course, I was thrilled and the audience was blown away because it was so valuable to hear from your peers how they're doing it. But I think I was the only one that caught all 12 of them make their phone calls. Yes, you wanna know what the secret is? They make their phone calls. They call their past clients. They call their sphere. They follow up on internet leads. They follow up on old leads. Some call FISBO, some call expireds. Some even did circle dialing. Some people just made more phone calls than anybody else. Some of them even went, Here's your real estate update, ding dong, here's your real estate update. Now I know as you're watching this, you were like, okay, Ferry, right? Marketing, innovation, all this stuff. Yes, I believe in all of that stuff. And here's what I know. When you do the thing, you have the power. And when you don't do the thing, you don't have the power. It's that simple. And in this business, as in any sales business, whoever talks to the most people, whoever books the most appointments, that's who wins, period, end of story. So here's what I wrote down for you, you ready? We've had 266 days already in 2020. How many of those days did you make your phone calls? How many of those days did you send your texts, make your phone calls, follow up on your leads, call your past clients, call your sphere, call some new sources of the 266 days that you could have moved your business forward, how many days did you do it? Now, you might be watching this and saying, oh, I'm feeling guilty. Well, heads up, heads up. The challenge that you have is you don't understand that, see, making phone calls is easy. The bummer is making phone calls is easy, which means it's also easy not to make phone calls. You're busy, you're productive, there was a pandemic, oh my gosh, I can't make phone calls. Here's the problem. That mindset that it's easy to do, and you're like, it's not easy to make phone calls. Hey Siri, call Tristan. It's easy to make phone calls. Don't tell me it's not, it's not a difficult act. The point is this, when things are easy to do, they're also easy not to do. And the real challenge that you face is you think it doesn't matter. See, you think it doesn't matter. Hey, today I can slip. Today I don't need to do it. Hey, today I'm busy. Hey, today this is happening in the world. Hey, today that's going on. Or I'm really busy. My schedule is totally packed. I've got too much stuff going on. Or I need some time off. I get it. You think it doesn't matter. And that's where you fail. See, it's kind of like... Um, Jeff Olson in his great book, The Slight Edge, would say, see, people have a tendency to dig their grave with their teeth. And I was like, wow, that's a great statement because we know it's true. And here's what he would say. You think it doesn't matter when you order the cheeseburger versus having a salad. Well, in that day, it didn't matter. But do that 200, 300 days in a row, right? Cheeseburger versus a salad. And it does matter because it shows up. You know what I'm talking about. It's the same thing. You think it doesn't matter because you didn't make your phone calls. That one day, it didn't make a difference. It didn't make or break you. But when you do it, and then you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, all of a sudden, two months from now, three months from now, six months from now, people are like, girl power, girl boss, how you doing? Like, you're killing it right now. Look at all the listings, look at all the sales. And, and they want to acknowledge you for this, right? And they're like, how did you do it? What was the secret? What was the mailer? What was the thing? What did you post? And you're like, no. Six months ago, I watched Tom Ferry show and I finally got it. This is a contact sport and I've got an obligation to reach out to my database. If I don't keep my past clients and my sphere and prospects and my leads informed, involved, engaged, so they can make good decisions and me staying top of mind, someone else is marketing to them. Someone else is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, to get your database, your sphere, people that you know, to go to somebody else's site and do something else, and you think it doesn't matter? You think it doesn't matter that you're not staying connected? You think a direct mail piece is gonna make your relationship better over a phone call, over a text, over a personal video with a follow-up call? It matters. If you're like me and you believe that this is a relationship-based business, Making the phone call matters. Easy to do, easy not to do. So, I wrote down for you three things. 
just three things I would do. If you really, like if you're watching this right now and you're like, oh, darn it, Barry. Okay, I know it. I know everyone's marketing to my database. I've lost business. I, I, I called the past client I sold the house to five years ago. They forgot who I am. Like if I've ever experienced that in my life, that I get it once and for all, you're right. I got a hundred days left between now and the end of the year. What could I do? Could I take on that discipline? Could I do the thing, as Emerson said, do the thing and have the power? Or am I gonna finish the year saying, I didn't do the thing and I don't have the power and it's somebody else's fault? Every day, what you do matters. Every day, in business and in life, you know it, I know it. Own that and let's commit. So I wrote down three things you can do to overcome the resistance. Because the resistance, right? What is that? You're like, okay, I gotta make my phone calls. And then like the resistance says in your ear, don't you have to go to the bathroom? Maybe you need to check the stock market. Hey, did you follow up on the Joneses? Do we get that transit? Like, and then next thing you know, you're gone. And you know what the bummer is? The vast majority of people buy into the resistance more than doing the work. Remember, in all acts of ambition, improvement, making yourself better, moving your life forward, right? The resistance shows up and says, don't do it. Take the path of least resistance. Have the easy way, eat more cookies, sit on the couch, watch old Oprah. The, the resistance doesn't want you to build your business. The question is, do you want to build your business? Can you remove the resistance or not listen to the resistance and take action? Here's what I wrote down. Number one, number one thing, do everything to get prepared the night before. Why do most people fail? Okay, I'm gonna go to the office, tomorrow's the day. You walk in your office, you're like John Wayne, bang, you open up the door and you're like, I'm gonna get on the phone, I'm gonna make it happen. And you get to your desk and your paperwork is everywhere and you're like, well, the first thing I need to do is get everything organized. So I need to get this over here and this probably needs to go here. And, and you know what I'm talking about. The next thing you know, 45 minutes have gone by and you did not pick up the phone. Why? Because you didn't prepare the night before, the day before. What do you do? Who am I gonna call? What's the theme? What's my outcome? What questions am I gonna ask? What am I trying to do? Am I nurturing or am I nudging to get an appointment? Do I wanna say, hey, do you need to get a refi? Hey, have you got any thoughts of selling? Like, you gotta get yourself prepared so when you walk in, it's, if you've ever played a sport in your life, you know what I'm talking about. It's the same thing. You don't walk out there and go, all right, girls, what do we wanna do? Okay, guys, like, anybody got any plays? I don't know, let's just go out there and see what happens. That's what the amateur does. The professional says, okay, this matters. Spend a little time, get it all prepared, walk in the office, here's my list, open up my laptop, everybody's there, I know what I'm gonna say, I know what my objectives are, I know how long I'm gonna do it for, and bam, I go right into it. Number two, you gotta get yourself in a peak state. The resistance is gonna stop you, and the moment your shoulders go like this, oh, oh I haven't called these people in a while, oh, oh I don't feel good about this, oh, oh, what's going on on Instagram? What's going on on social media? Notice how that makes you feel versus like, hey Siri, call the, right, and start dialing the phone. So what do you do? You stand up, you put your shoulders back, you put a smile on your face. I love this one. I'm a lean, mean, appointment setting machine. I'm a lean, mean, appointment setting machine. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna get myself moving and grooving. You wanna know why? Because the way you move your body impacts your mind. So if I'm like, hey man, this is gonna be super fun, your mind's like, oh, uh, really? We're about to make phone calls. I'm not sure, but like, but your body's like, hey, we're gonna have a good time, gonna make some phone calls. And I literally would then ask myself some power questions. What do I love about my clients? Oh, I love my clients, I'm so blessed, right? What do I love about booking appointments? Oh my goodness, every time I get an appointment, it's like uncertainty and certainty together, right? The uncertainty of, will I get the listing? Is it gonna work out? Can I get it? I can do this, when I do this, I'm gonna move my business forward. Like there's so much like energy in that. You know when you wake up in the morning and you open up your calendar, you're like, I got two appointments today, one with the buyer, one with the seller, Woo, right? You're on fire. What do I love about booking appointments? I love it, I love it, I love it, right? And then I might ask myself like, hey, what do I love about helping people buy and sell real estate? Like, what do I really love about it? Oh, there's just nothing better than handing a person a key or saying, congratulations, we got you five offers and you know, let's go through it together. Like, if you love it, you recognize that this is how you get to do more of it. Easy to do, easy not to do. Every day you do it, it matters. Every day you don't, it matters. The last one, number three. I wrote down, you should publish your results. Yes, I'm asking you to literally go like this. Bang, just had 10 conversations with past clients in Sphere, keeping them informed on what's going on in the market, 
Every day I do this, I keep my clients informed and that's what it's all about. Love all my clients and I post it on Instagram or on my stories. And if you follow me on Instagram, you're seeing that I've now got lots and lots and lots of clients that are literally posting day, you know, 100 of 300 of days I'm making my calls, day 10 of 100 and they're challenging each other by tagging me tagging their coach, tagging a couple of their girl bosses or their pals or their buddies as the reminder of that social fabric accountability that keeps us all doing it. Does that make sense? So what do you wanna do? You wanna get prepped, you wanna get your mindset right, and then make the phone calls and then post it. So people say, wow, she's with it. Oh my goodness, she's 71 and she's making her phone calls. I want to be like Judy, right? Like you will inspire people and show people your grittiness and you're willing to do whatever it takes to make a difference and serve them. And remember, it's a contact sport. That's how it works. So what'd you get? Is it, are you going to share this? Are you going to send this maybe to a few of your buddies and say, Hey, let's do this together. Let's make a challenge. We got a hundred days left. What if we did 70 of those days between now and the end of the year? And over that time, we talked to 10 people a day. I think that'd be 700 people. OMG, WTF, that's where's Tom Ferry. Your business would explode. And that is what I want. So let me know. I want to see it in the comments. I want to see some shares. And more, most importantly, I want you to remember this. Everything you do matters. It's easy to do. It's easy not to do. Make your calls.